let's talk about how information is stored on a, on a CD. Um, first off, physically, there's, there's um, a plastic layer on the bottom. So this is the top part, right? That's where the printing and everything is, right? Then there's a layer of plastic. Then there's a little bit of aluminum. And in that aluminum, of course, are the little pits. And then there's the plastic uh, that protects the aluminum, right? This is a, a view of the aluminum, okay? And there are these little pits like this. And I guess we're, you know, maybe we're looking at it from below. Here's a pit or something like that. And there's not a pit and there is a pit, right? The notion is that, that this could be, and it's a bit more complex than that, that that could be a zero, that could be a one, that could be a zero, right? But basically the, the laser, when it reads this, is either detecting the presence of a pit or the absence of a pit. And it does that by using um, uh, destructive interference. And we'll talk about that um, in, in another video, okay? I'm gonna pass around a CD drive when you guys get to class and, and you can look at it. Careful, the edges are a little bit sharp, but, but uh, there's, this is the thing that grabs the disc. The disc spins at like 7,200 RPM or some crazy thing. And then this is the laser that shines up in there. Um, and this is a little motor that can move that so that it can read the, 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 the tracks on the, on the CD, okay? Um, here's a picture of the pits on there. And of course, the DVD's got them more densely packed. Um, a CD has you know, fewer pits on there, right? Okay, and then this is a crazy thing is that uh, uh, it's not like, you know, if you look at these, some of them are long and some are right, medium and some are very short like that, okay? And I don't know how many different lengths there are for this, right? But uh, it's a bit like a barcode. You know, you see the barcode and there's like wide and then and, and stripe. And then, so it's something kind of like a barcode. It's called uh, EFM, okay? Uh, eight to 14 mapping, okay? Um, and I'll show you, you can, if you really want to know exactly how they take uh, 14 bits and map them onto eight um, and why they do that, uh, it's sort of beyond the scope of the class. But I'll take you to a website here in a sec that, that talks a little bit about that, right? And then this notion here, okay, if you, if you look at this, uh, let's say we're reading this from the top, okay? The CD is reading this, from, the laser is reading this from the top. <clears throat> if the laser light comes down here and comes back, when it hits a pit, it actually goes, whatever this depth is, right, it actually goes down and then back, whatever that depth is. And if twice that depth is half a wavelength of light, then it goes from constructive interference to destructive interference. So that's the key thing. Basically, uh, the laser is, is just, when it reads that thing, it actually goes dark because it destructively interferes with itself um, when it comes back, right? Uh, and then let me just take you to, uh, uh, let me take you to this uh, thing here. Here's a thing about the compact disks, and you can... Um, that's the Wikipedia thing, and they talk a little bit about this, right? Uh, if you go here, I just found, I just clicked on some link here, but this is uh, binary. This is the uh, uh, 8 to 14 bit. Um, and there's some guy that explains this. If you just Google this enough, if you want to know what those codes are, um, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. This provides adequate modulation of signal intensity. Anyway, you yeah. know, very cool.